Okay, we got things prepped up a little bit here. Uh, this is what we're going to use. It's just uh, by Bondo fiberglass resin. You can use it for repairs for boats and anything pretty much with fiberglass. Just wanted to show that on there. And it's a resin, so any kind of resin you have to mix it with a catalyst. So this comes with it. Uh, the more drops you add, I already poured some into the. I don't know if it's on. I already poured some on the, in the cup here. Uh, the more drops you add, the faster it's going to set or harden, however you want to call it. Stir it up with a stick, just a little paint stick we got here. Um, I was mentioning earlier this this is going to be an economical budget build. So what we're going to use this right here is standard just drywall mesh. You can get this for. Uh, uh, your buddy or whatever did some uh, drywall repair. This stuff's like uh, this whole roll is probably three or four bucks. Dirt cheap. Works just the same. We're gonna put one here, and then we're gonna put, and then we're gonna reinforce one. Put one here, and then put one here. So someone something like that. So we want to make sure the whole area where it was cracked is gonna be fully covered. So. That's how that's going to work. Get yourself a cheap brush at the 99 cent store. After you sanded it down, you see where I sanded it down already in the previous video. Wipe it, just get it as clean as you can. Not rocket scientist. Scientist. Not rocket science. Now, like I said before, some of the resin is going to fall in here, but that's why we're going to put it. We're going to put it on the back of this first. As much resin as we can. I'm going to put a little bit, lay a little bit of resin right here. And I'm going to put this down, and then we're just going to take the chip, the chip brush, and we're just going to push it in there. And we want to get it as far in here as we can, as far as we can. Uh, like I said, originally I was going to put some tape behind here, but I want to show it how it can be done without having to do any reinforcements in the back. All the reinforcements are going to be done on the front, and then later on, maybe off camera, I'll do some in the back as well. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and mix it. Okay, let me back. I'd put a hole, put a hole in that brand new one. Okay, so uh, we were talking about it off camera. Uh, once you mix this in, yeah, you, you got a pretty fast set time. Uh, the more the more you put in here, of course, the faster it's going to set. Uh, it could pop off as soon as uh, five minutes, and it could take as long as 15, 20 minutes. So, just to give you an idea. I always wear PPE. Uh, this stuff has a very, very strong smell. So uh, if you can't handle it, put on a, um, a mask or something. You should probably put a mask on anyways. I'm not promoting. A... Oh, here it is. I was looking for that. Thought it fell off the car. Anyways, got to put a hole in that if you got a new one. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this. And we're off. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, throw a few more in there. For good measure. Uh, when it comes to catalyst, and this is uh, this also goes with painting. When you put hardeners in there, uh, a lot of them for paint and stuff, they want you to put uh, so many ounces per gallon or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? When you're doing that, it really doesn't matter. You can put less hardener, it will dry, take longer to dry. Same thing with Bondo. More hardener in there, and it's going to go faster. See how fast that was? You just mix it in there, slop that stuff up real quick, and you got something to work with. Okay. Put a little bit on there on the on the base of this first. Don't forget to get in the back here. Okay. I'm gonna flip this upside down. And I'm going to put as much as I can on here. It's not going to be a lot, of course, but it really doesn't matter. It's going to go through the hole or the. It's going to go through this as soon as I pop this on here. Okay. You want to get this up a little bit over the top. Now this stuff doesn't flex very well, so it's not going to wrap around very easy. So you might have to do an extra one later on, building it up in the back. Always put on more than you need, as far as. How much of this drywall? I don't like saying drywall repair. That just sounds so ghetto. Doing it on a repair, okay. is, but um, <clears throat> we'll just call it mesh. 
Now what's going to happen is this, uh, this stuff here is pretty damn strong. And it's going to start pretty much melting this mesh into place. So it's like a weld. Okay, that's what that does. Now we're going to put a little bit more on here. And you can get these chip brushes uh, at Harbor Freight for about, I think I paid 69 cents each. So for all the cheap people out there, this is a very economical, like I said, repair. And we're going to go again. Let's put this one on this. We're going to overlap. Hey, I'll see you later. Huh? I'll see you guys later. Well, hold on, Tim. What? I'm off to my Christmas party. Okay, what's going on now? Interruptions during a video. Well, Can you believe that? Just trying to be I cannot believe that. You can't well, be you're going to have to edit a lot out. I ain't editing nothing. This is going on direct. I don't I ain't got time to play editor. You're going to get demonetized if you uh, leave the word ghetto that you're saying. Like ghetto that. is not a bad word. Come on, really? On YouTube it is. People yeah. respond to that. On when you YouTube, see this, you I don't think ghetto is bad. Oh my gosh, you're going to get canceled before your channel even begins. Alright, see you canceled. I'll see you later. I'm totally editing that. Have fun at your Christmas party. I'm editing like 80% of your footage. I'm going to be, this is going to be uploaded and it's showing, so, you know, that's fine if you want to pull it back down well, and edit it. Until I get my Mac, it'll be in the mail in a couple days. Okay. I'll get Final Cut and I'll edit your shit. Alright, you can't say, things. you just said the, uh, the, the SH word. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm loading this without. Well, I know all profanities have to be edited out. Oh, okay. And anything that could be deemed offensive. I don't think ghetto is offensive. People, uh, please respond to that and let me know what you guys think about that word. Where the fuck did I get ghetto? Cameron, you're on. <laughs> edit it out. I don't want to edit out. I ain't got time to edit. Okay, this is what we're gonna see. I'm gonna drip this in now into these this webbing let it drip it's gonna sink down into those that nice little gouge i got out with the oh, okay. find your keys yeah okay. Text my wallet i don't know how close up this is i don't know how close up i zoomed it pretty good so i'm got to here. be able to see it okay See how I'm doing? See, it's starting to want to set up now, so this is the time to start pushing this in. Like I said, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack from using this mesh, but it actually is really, it really works. This is going to get... Okay, later on, will you text me the code for it over here? I don't have the code yet. I, I just use the key. I'll give you an extra key, though. Alright. Oh, okay, back to the... Look at him. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, this works just fine. This is, it's just, uh, it actually has the same properties as what um, <clears throat> that other mesh that you use for fiberglass. I don't know what they call it. There's two types of mesh you can use. The other one is kind of like random, goes in all different directions. A lot of people like to use that. That gets kind of a, yeah, it's starting to pop up now. This right here, like I said, this will, I'm going to probably put another coat or two on here. But this right here is going to, just this alone is all you would really need. But I'm going to use all this up. I'd really like to get it over that edge, but you just can't do it with this stuff. Well, that's okay. I'll trim that off later on and then put another piece on there. My main thing is I want to get it in here into this gouge as much as possible. Just put it in there with your chip brush. Use it all up. There's no, I mean, use it all up. This is a rounded area. You could put an eighth of an inch, even a quarter inch of this stuff. Just pile it on. Because once you have this on here, this is what you need. This is the main thing right here. This is the this is the reinforcement. After that, everything else is just just cake, just cherry, cherry on the top. If you want to make it nice and thick, put it on there, <clears throat> and then we can sand it. I have to sand a little farther. We'll put some round. We'll, we'll, we'll just round it out right here, all the way up. We can connect right to the right to the door here. 
Yeah, I know I didn't scuff all this up. It doesn't matter. I'm going to sand all this back off anyway. Oh, wow. Dripped all down. That's fine. That's okay. You've got to be a little bit... A little bit sloppy. If you're too clean, you ain't getting enough in there. You ain't doing enough, man. You got to be a little bit... A little bit dirty. You got to be a dirty birdie. Nobody knows what a dirty birdie is. It's probably you. If you're watching this. You're a dirty birdie. You know it. Dirty birdie. Yep. Get all this in there. This is going to be beautiful. I'll see if I can get a shot later on what it looks like from the back. I know there's going to be like some resin pouring down in there. <clears throat> like I said before, you can put some tape behind there. And then you can just gouge all you can just put all this stuff in here before before you even put the reinforcement mesh on but this works just fine if you keep going at it with this chip brush eventually you're going to start seeing these the mesh kind of moving all over the place it's because it's starting to melt this is a chemical reaction this stuff gets very very hot nice and hot hotter than some of the women i used to date and that's pretty damn hot i tell you Oh, good days. Good old days. That's okay. My wife's still hot, too. How many people got some got wives out there or girlfriends that give you head, head games all the time, huh? Huh? I'm just BSing. I know there's a clump right here. I'll get that off in a minute. I'm just trying to get as much of this stuff as I can out of here. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Get that off of there. That's the sand later on. Get that off of there. This is going to take a couple more coats, obviously. But the initial one is done. <clears throat> so, like, what I'm going to do is once it hardens, uh, that makes it hard. Once it hardens, we'll trim that off. Might even trim a little bit of this off. We'll see how good it's stuck. And then we'll put a couple more coats on here, and then I'll put some reinforcement in the back. So this is what you do. These chip brushes, these chip brushes right here, last one and one only. So invest in them and plop as much as you can. They're about 69 cents each. You can get about, I think, 30 of them for 12 bucks. This here is, uh, looks like a two-inch. It doesn't, I'm not really caring how much, I got a lot of uh, resin all over the place dripping down. It doesn't matter. This car is going to be painted anyway. So, you know, like I said, be a little bit dirty with it, man. Be a little bit sloppy. Put as much on here as you can. The more the better. You're going to have to sand it anyway, so put extra. Don't be scared. Use as much as you can. Okay, I think that will conclude this part for tonight. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to do another video, but I'm not going to be able to do one tonight because it's getting kind of cold in the shop right here. So um, it's going to take a while for this to kick off. So we're done for the day. I think I'm going to upload this. And I know I'm going to have a lot of scary people or a lot of ticked off people and people saying, what the hell are you doing? Why are you using that crap? It will work, okay? I wouldn't use it if it wouldn't work. Okay, that's it. Sorry for such a uh, oh, long-ass video, I guess. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got any comments, feel free. Be nice, though, okay? This is a budget build, so I'm working with what I have and what I want to show the average person that this can be done economically and it will last. Thank you. You guys have a good one. See you next time.